Hello and welcome. Just going to do another quick review about a yerba mate that I tried. Uh, this one's from U.S. Wellness Naturals. It's 100% organic certified. It comes from Brazil. Uh, this is more of a green yerba mate, very uncooked, definitely unsmoked, um, just very green. And you notice it immediately once you open this package up, you're going to just smell this really green grassiness. Um, just like a slight, slight hay flavor or hay smell to it, maybe. It's, you know, Yerba Mate has its own unique smell, each one of them, and it's its own unique taste. So I can't really describe it completely. You just would know when you smell it. Um, but it's like a, uh, a real earthy, green, grassy smell. Um, it, this one just took a little bit for it to grow on me because I'm not used to these green style Yerba Mates. I'm more used to like slightly smoked or unsmoked uh, that is has been heated so it, it's not so much on the green side and usually I have ones that are aged this isn't aged it's just real fresh and it was really delicious it just took a little bit like I said to grow on me probably once I got to about a quarter of the bag like originally I thought I don't know if I'm gonna like this and once I got about a quarter of the bag through it really started to grow on me and now I really enjoy it. And I kind of learned that you, this particular yerba mate, you don't want it to steep too long uh, in between your cycles. Um, usually I let this steep now for 10, 15 seconds, then I go ahead and sip it. I started off like I do with some of the aged ones, I let it sit for a minute, maybe even two minutes. I don't know, I might have let it sit for a minute and a half or something. And my first sip was, yeah, I usually like strong yerba mates, but this one has such a strong green grassy flavor that it was just too much. I didn't really like it. But once I learned to let it just sit for like 10, 15 seconds and then take a sip, it tasted much better. And so now I really do enjoy this one. Um, I'll show you what it looks like, the cut. It looks like it's a pretty fine cut, not real fine, but it's definitely finer than a medium cut that I've seen. Uh, you can see it is really pretty much all green and there are no palos, no stems. It's all just just leaves, which was very impressive. Absolutely no powder whatsoever. It's just all the leaves. And I really did enjoy this. It has a rich uh, green flavor to it. Uh, it's, green, it's like a green grassy, earthy flavor to it pretty much like how it smells and um, just tastes really healthy you know you're just getting so much of the sapiens and vitamins and things out of it so I did enjoy it and I'm sure I'll enjoy it as a cold drink also I think this would be pretty impressive I'm looking forward to it in the summertime I'm gonna try it as a colder colder yerba mate um, so it might be something that y'all watching this might like to give it a try I uh, definitely wasn't disappointed. I guess the only thing I was disappointed in was that it didn't come in a vacuum package. Like some of the greener ones, they usually keep it in a vacuum package when you get it. That way, uh, you know it's fresh. But I wasn't disappointed because when I did open this bag, I could just tell instantly that it was fresh and it does have a date on it somewhere and it wasn't old or anything. So it, it tasted all really well. I do keep it refrigerated. I've read on some of the forums, just as a little tip, that it's good to keep uh, this greener style mate, keep it in the refrigerator. It'll stay fresher longer. So that's what I do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this uh, helps you out with some of the different tastes of yerba mate out there to try. And you all take care. Salute.